Hi folks, this is Dan Zorn, the superintendent of the Longview Public Schools here for Superintendent Storytime this week. Our book today is My Poppy Has a Motorcycle. It's written by Isabel Quintero and illustrated by Zeke Pena. Again, this is My Poppy Has a Motorcycle. My Poppy Has a Motorcycle. From him, I've learned words like carburetor and carino, drill and dedication. When I hear his gray truck pull into our driveway, I run outside with both of our helmets. My poppy, the carpenter, is covered in sawdust and smells like a hard day at work. His hands are rough from building homes every day, his job since he first arrived in this country. But even though he comes home tired, he always has time for me. When our city is winding down, he takes me for a ride. Today, he's going to show me the new houses he's working on. Poppy is careful with my ponytail as he pulls my helmet tight. When he lifts me onto the smooth black seat, his hands don't feel rough. They don't feel tired. They feel like all the love he has trouble saying. Lista, see. Si. Poppy revs the engine and the smell of gasoline hits me as he squeezes the accelerator. The motor rumbles and grounds. Con cuidado, be careful. Agarrate, hold on. And then we take off. The shiny blue metal of the motorcycle glows in the sun. The sun, the sun, the bright orange sun is on its way down, turning our sky blue and purple and gold. We become a spectacular celestial thing soaring on asphalt. A comet, the sawdust falling from my poppy's hair and clothes becomes a tail following us. Poppy zigzags through the streets. We pass Abuelita's church in Tortilleria La Estrella and, come and stop for stray cats crossing in front of us. Mommy thinks there's too many of them, but I think there's just enough. We pass Joy's Market, where Mommy buys my gummy bears. Mr. Garcia, our librarian, is walking out the door and nods at us. We nod back. This is how we always greet each other. We roar past murals that tell our history of citrus groves and immigrants who worked them and of the famous road race that took place on Grand Boulevard a hundred years ago. Now I know that we're stopping at Don Rudy's Raspados. But as we near the shop, we see that it's empty and out of business. I can tell Poppy is disappointed. I imagine the smell of the sweet syrups Don Rudy used to flavor our shaved ice. I won't be the only one who misses him. As we ride on, I feel and hear everyone and everything we pass by. Each sound landing in my ears rebuilds whole neighborhoods inside me. No matter how far I go from this place or how much it changes, this city will always be with me. We cruise by Abuelitos and Abuelita's old yellow house, the one with the lemon tree that grew from the seeds of the lemons Abuelito used to pick not far from here. Mommy says we're going to visit them tomorrow to cut nopales from their garden and eat herbe abadillas in Abuelita's kitchen where the food always tastes better. Mia, adios, mi reina, adios. We turn the corner, and then the dogs behind the fences go wild. Frankie, the Lopez's Labradoodle, escapes from her yard and runs after us. Mercedes Lopez, the fastest runner in our class, races after her. They're right behind us. Then just as fast, the dogs barking and Mercedes and Frankie become a, so a soft hush in the distance. Trabajando duro, muchachos. 
We ride toward the new homes, replacing the last of the citrus groves. The painters, drywallers, and floor layers all greet us, but we can barely hear their words amid the sound of hammers and air compressors. A little bit, not too much. Even in all that noise, my poppy's voice touches everything. Around the circle, this is my favorite part. On Grand Boulevard, we lean into the curve of the street. I make believe that we're in one of the races that took place here so long ago. It's our last lap and we have to win. The crowd cheers us on. I feel Poppy smile as I squeeze my arms tighter around him. Vamos, Poppy! Faster! Faster! We fly around the circle. There's the school, there's the school where we practice soccer. There's the post office where Mr. Charlie takes our letters. In La Panaderia, where Poppy buys conscious on Sunday mornings. Vroom! Here it is, all of our beautiful city. My eyes try to catch everything, but the colors of houses blend into one another. Red, blue, green, orange, pink. We ride, ride, until the blue glow from the motorcycle begins to dim, and our comet tail has been left behind on the streets we've traveled. We head home, and slowly the engine echoes us back onto our street, and then our driveway, our finish line. Mommy and little brother hear the motorcycle and run out to greet us. Mommy waves at us, waves us in, just like a referee. Poppy and I can't stop laughing. We had a good ride. Through our laughter, I hear a familiar sound. Honk, honk, raspados. I think about my city and all the changes that it's been through and all the changes that will come. Chicle y fresa, por favor. But I know that here in our little house, these are the things that will always stay the same. Manana, we fly again. Isn't that awesome? That's a great story. That's my poppy has a motorcycle by Isabel Quintero and illustrated by Zeke Pena. Hope you enjoyed that. This is Dan Zorn, superintendent of the Longview Public Schools, where literacy is the most important thing we do.